Hello, all, and welcome back to High Priest Reacts to DuckTales, Season 3, Episode 10, The Trickening, aka the Halloween episode. In fact, hold on, you know what? Actually, I didn't think about this beforehand, but I did, I forgot. <laughs> Uh, got a coat that goes with it, but I'm not putting that on. Putting that on unless I actually need it. But that's also my uh, very cold, very cold weather coat. So yeah, Halloween goes. This is clearly the Halloween episode. I, I, I bust that. I, I want to bust that out and show it off. That one is the work of two years. Because I didn't have the money beforehand. <laughs> this, 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 you can buy all that in one piece. Well, not the, the hat and the doll, bills and unbees and then uh, I will have for all I for. And then I got the mask this year. I already had a great coat for it. Lost the wizard's. Unfortunately, I lost the wizard's day if I used the two. The a branch I found up. Perfect. Okay, I used it as a walking stick on Halloween. Anyways, uh, yeah. About the episode itself. <laughs> Whew! Uh, yeah. It's kind of triggering. It's clearly a Halloween one. I'm gonna say half it is there's multiple toys. Could be they go for a uh, parody of it happening, just using two, uh, Halloween themes. Something happens when they're out trick or treating. I don't know what. And that's about it. Maybe this is a magic episode. Maybe this is another one of the side villains. Maybe this is what surprisingly would be an episode that brings in one of another Disney afternoon characters. I'm not sure which one. Could be Darkwing. Not sure how, not sure why, but it could be Darkwing. Ugh. But yeah. Queen Ever! So okay, and then they took an M to the one they were saying where I got. And of course, he doesn't act like. Junior Woodchuck reminds me of Google the Launchpad. I'm going gazing. Back in Glasgow, this was the one night a year I could eat sweets like a rich man's son. Through sheer hard work, I earned more treats than all the kids at Oh my god. And every year I aim to reach. I don't know what it was. First, Della. God damn it, Della. Screw it, he's going down. Fuck yeah. Ah. There's a cousin, though. First up, I'll be helping this with a download down on the so I guess not. It makes sense. Oh, candy store! No. Do we? So we are getting an episode focused on the, at least half of it is focused on uh, Della and Mel. No. We haven't really got one that since I get uh, all the came back. I know I'm going to say this place is completely as straight up haunted haunted, I guess, you know. Or something's going on. I guess this is duct tape. He's rich around every corner. One of the. Yeah. 
Okay, uh... Spooky green trailer stalls of all the characters, despite them only showing up here? Oh, this RL side book? So what kind of <laughs> Just bad <laughs> He doesn't really understand what's going on here, does he? Ha 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 ha! The important question! <laughs> uh, oh, good to go on this cube. Well, it works for a second! <laughs> I mean, that's saying a lot. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. The, the creepy house? He's on the roof of the fucking bar on the gate! Oh my god. God damn it, Launchpad! No no, Della. No. I love that he's actually throwing up with this screw job able for this. Which, you know, makes it a lot better for him to go batch of crazy and actually uh, hurt someone rather than, you know, kids. You know about it? And you do not go near it. You told us it was fake. You tried to get us to avoid it. What were you planning on hoarding all the candy for yourself? Like that, I swear. Oh, oh good, it's Irma's a pants. That's a rare product reference, look it up. Of course, now I'm starting to think this is just somebody fucking with them. Like, yeah, you know, Della. Well, okay, Andrew Wilson, right? It's actually. Wait. Actual... It's actual monsters messing with people to steal candy. As other monsters. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah! No! The, little, the guy who's alluded to them all being actual monsters. I wonder what was going to happen, Della. Is that a reference to The Shining? 
that's what I didn't think of. The Shining. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually a Shining reference. Okay. Yeah, uh, that, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that was a pretty good episode. I like to say it's particularly innovative. You know, uh, monsters pretending to be other monsters. I've seen that before. Not that it's bad, or it's, I'm not saying it's not a, a, not a little, not a, like someone created. Just not a bunch of these ideas have done before. Not in this exact combo, I think, but the monsters are still actually dangerous. They're not just fucking around with people. But. Still. It's good. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, I know some people aren't fond of how uh, Launchpad, Launchpad is in the series, but. I like it. Nobody here is the exact one the one their own personalities, and I think that in some ways that is good. I'm glad we got at least somewhat of a De Della uh, Donald adventure. I really would like it if it didn't did get just them, though. At some point, I didn't realize I wanted that until now, but I absolutely want to get a Donald episode. Uh, yeah, that's a good But it was still good. The scaring monsters is still was done well. It, it, now the monster, I like the idea, the fact that at that first, they trick you to think that the monsters are actually harm, actually harmless, and they're just fucking with them. But, no, no, the monsters are still dangerous, they're just fucking them with a different way. I do kind of like the kid stuff comment, mostly because, you know, I compared one of those to something from R.L. Stein. You will beware. You will in for a scare. God, I love the goosebumps. Never read all, even a fraction of the books, but or watched most of the episodes. But it was still a good show. Good, solid, spook, spooky fun. And whenever I think of a haunted doll, I I do think of the one from. Control of something, I do think of the one from uh, Goosebumps. Which I think was the intention there. So the girl in the well thing is, uh, he ain't let out a kid thing to be good to scare him out. Uh, But yeah, they drink it thinking, oh, they're actually cool and everything, but nah, nah. Apparently they decided that they were going to take their frustrations out on them and not gain candy. Uh. <laughs> and, ooh. But yeah. Keeping most of the said, uh, of Launchpad's rampage to Scrooge, who can take it, and the monsters, who are actually going to hurt the kids, allowed it to be mostly funny. When, uh, that could have easily soured, or turned into a good direction that could have soured people on a, on a character. Technically, the writers are confident. But, yeah. Anything else I want to cover? Uh, I mean, yeah, it was a fun episode, and I do like the little bit more we get to know about you know, the lives of our uh, main three. And hey, I think this is the first time we've even seen Lon Pad's house. Yeah, I think we've been in his garage once, do we? But that's about it. But, uh. <laughs> I do like 
how uh, Della and Donald accidentally channeled the creepy twins, which, again, yeah, yeah, no shit, this this was a shiny reference. I, I, I can't believe I didn't go to that. I went to the fucking happening instead. Because now it's obvious, yeah. The twin see. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm still laughing. It's the creepy twins! Uh, but, yeah, the picture that looks like it's always been there all along and such. Daytime. But yeah. I mean, but yeah, the fact is they could all just have done what uh, Scrooge has done and got out and are straight up as themselves or in costumes and still gone candy from African people. People give adults candy nowadays. I don't even need to scare you about it. But yeah, that was a, still a solid episode. That's what I mean saying. It, it, you know, it was a solid way of doing it. I enjoyed it. I got a lot of laughs. I really enjoyed that uh, opening. Oh, by the way, that hockey mask. All I, I could see at when looking at the hockey mask when uh, he put it on was, ooh, Mighty Ducks crossover. That was another uh, Disney de- uh, Disney property about ducks. It wasn't Disney ducks. It was honestly kind of, I think it was kind of dumb. Can't remember it very really well. But that's why I get why I look at that. Which, you know, makes sense. It's also a, it's a duck hockey mask, and that was a duck hockey show about duck hockey. But yeah, I love that alternate intro. I, I think the other one's probably better, but I love the special intros they do. None of them will quite meet the uh, greatness of the Darkwing Duck intro and the Glomgold intro. This goddamn the Glomgold intro. <laughs> It's Glom Tales! <laughs> oh man, that, that that one got me good when it happened. It's the funniest shit. But yeah. I love that they did that. I, I can't imagine any other show doing it that often that this show does. And that's that is just great. <sighs> trying to think of something else to say here. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think I got everything covered. Uh, solid episode. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I will say Della's got problems. Which is I like Della <laughs> as a character. She's a... Oh, boy. Yeah. And obviously she didn't even take it as far as one trad, but, uh... Still too far, lady. Still too far. Uh, but... Well, all our characters are... <laughs> what are two big flaws? I don't even think I need to go some purchase. Anyways. Yeah, anyways, uh, let's uh, just hang out.